In May 2021, it was reported that the leadership of the South Korean corporation Samsung was thinking about abandoning Android and their mobile devices in favor of Fuchsia OS. Six months later, analyst Du Hyun Kim said the same thing. Let's figure out what Fuchsia OS is, what are its differences from Android and whether it is able to replace the most popular OS in the world. Fuchsia OS Features She will be able to make playlists for you in the mood, suggest or to go tonight, based on your scheduling discussions in the mail. She will offer you to buy tickets, knowing that you have planned to fly to Madrid in two days. All the necessary technologies will be embedded in the operating system itself. Just imagine, you open a browser, go to the website of one of the restaurants, then add an event to your calendar and say, OK, Google, invite Alexandra to dinner. And Google Assistant understands what it's about. He finds a calendar event in the list of programs, makes a note and sends Alexandra a message with an invitation to such and such a restaurant at such and such a time. Like any modern operating system, Fuchsia relies on cloud technologies and artificial intelligence in its work, but goes much further than other operating systems. In Fuchsia, the cloud will become not just a place for data backup, it will turn into a link for all user information. Imagine that you are sitting with a laptop, typing text on the keyboard and simultaneously communicating with someone in a messenger to your favorite music. Suddenly, the boss calls, you take off with one phone, run to solve work cases. And then unlock it and see all the same running programs in which you worked on your laptop before, editor, messenger and music player. Convenient, isn't it? The system has synchronized your devices and even installed a text editor on the phone, the minimum part necessary for basic work with text. After all, the channel is not rubber, and it is unclear whether the entire interface on the phone will be needed. Even the contents of the clipboard and the location of open windows have been preserved. Everything connected with the clouds in Fuchsia is run by Ledger, a distributed storage that acts as the second memory of the device. Everything is duplicated there, application data, applications themselves, or rather, components, documents, settings, stories, your photos with the sun and your hands. This is not an analog of Google Drive or iCloud, it is an analog of the second hard drive in the RAID array. At the same time, it is not mandatory to use at all. Ledger is a modular system. By default, it is based on Google's Firestore network storage but smartphone manufacturers will be able to convert it to their own cloud storage. The Ledger option, which uses your home server as storage, is not excluded. Modularity and Scalability of Fuchsia OS Starting from the most basic levels and ending with user-visible elements, Fuchsia components are maximally isolated and logically separated from each other. Fuchsia is based on the Zircon microkernel which provides the ability to manage memory, create and destroy processes, and also acts as a multiplexer for drivers, file systems and network stack, which are not part of the kernel, but, as befit,